Hi everyone, so this week I've mainly focused on an entire new side of the game, giving the player a way to discover new machines and unlock new items to build. Before that however, the game now has a Discord, the link to that is in the description. If you have any ideas, comments or suggestions, let me know in the comments or on the Discord, it's really good to hear your views on things. The first step in all of this was to adapt the game to prevent the player from building anything they can't afford. I created a transparent black overlay for the build options that cover any buildings the player can't afford. As you can see here, any options the player can't afford are visibly darker than the rest, the price is shown in red, and the player can't physically select them. With that done, I started work on the research interface. I decided the detailing for the interface would be purple, so I made a template in Ace Sprite which will stretch in Unity to fit an interface of any size. What I'm doing here is slicing the template into different sections so Unity knows how to tile each section, where the top row of three are tiled horizontally at the top of a sandwich, the middle is tiled in every direction, and the bottom three are tiled horizontally at the bottom of a sandwich. Tired of designing an interface sandwich, I then went back to pen and paper to plan the layout. So the idea for research is the player can choose a category to research, from which a building will be randomly selected and unlocked when the research is complete. The player then sets a budget which dictates how long the research will take, and the research interface will keep track of any research the player has commissioned. Later down the line, I'll be making a research facility building, which must be built before any research can take place. Uh, for now, I've made a button at the bottom of the screen, which I can click to open up the interface. With all that set up, I started making separate interface designs for each stage of the research process. Each row I'm designing will appear in place of another at different stages of the research process. You'll see what I mean by that in a minute. So when you first open up the research interface, the first stage is shown. The row of boxes you see here will be populated with all the different research categories you can choose from. This required quite a bit of adaptation to old code, but I eventually got that working, displaying the same categories you see in the build menu. That then links onto the second stage where the budget is set. The budget increments in steps of 1000 amber, but I can change that easily. Just below the budget, you can see a time estimate of how long the research will take. That's calculated with a simple formula of the remaining research left over how much research is done per day. With stages one and two working well, stage three, where the research progress takes place, was a little bit trickier to set up. I was originally using the same progress bar I made for the control panels, but for some reason that only wanted to display on larger screen sizes. Here I'm resizing the display and you can see the progress bar popping in and out. I'm pretty sure that's a bug in Unity itself, and it meant I had to just redraw the bar, uh, which weirdly seemed to fix the problem. With the progress bar fixed, all three stages linked together nicely. Next I had to actually get the research to take place. Uh, this works quite simply in the game. The higher the budget, the more progress is made on research each day. The progress bar is meant to reflect that, uh, which it seemed to be doing at first before it overflowed the interface entirely and the percentage in the bottom right just wasn't showing. The percentage problem was down to me trying to get a decimal number by dividing two integers, which anyone who has written c -sharp code before will know just won't work. Finally, I designed a fourth stage, where the player claims the research once it's complete. This is simply just a button that replaces the progress bar, which when clicked, unlocks the research item in the build menu. Here you can see that all working well, with multiple items being researched at once, at different speeds, with different budgets and when they're claimed in the research interface, they then appear as expected in the build menu. I'm planning on expanding this later on to different saplings which can be planted in the forest. That's all for this week, if you enjoyed the video remember to subscribe, and I'll look forward to the next one. Cheers for watching.